Welcome back, everyone. I'm Rebecca Gerido, founder of JOP Evangelistic Outreach Project. Thank you for joining us for our weekly Bible study inspiration series. We pray that you have been encouraged, motivated, and inspired to study God's word and become empowered as believers on this faith journey. If this is your first time joining us, we welcome, we welcome you to the channel. We encourage you to subscribe and also click the notification. We have several Bible study inspirations, topics from you can choose from our playlist. Again, thank you for joining us for our Bible study inspirations. Blessings to all. Help me welcome evangelist Georgiana Hayes to a Bible study inspiration. Let's talk about it. Welcome evangelist Georgiana Hayes. Good morning. How are you? My name is evangelist Georgiana Hayes. And I want to talk with you about this morning, my testimony. Welcome back to JEOP Evangelistic Outreach Project. I'm your servant leader for today, Evangelist Gerardo. Today we have such an awesome guest. Yes, we do. None other than Evangelist Hayes. Yes, welcome. Yes, you want to welcome Evangelist Hayes with us today on Let's Talk About It. My brothers and my sisters, have you ever heard of the term spiritual warfare? Yes, spiritual warfare. Have you ever found yourself in a physical fight with someone? But you know, there is a spiritual fight as well too. And the word of God teaches us in Ephesians, we how we must put on the whole armor of God. Evangelist Hayes is going to come before us and share with us a testimonial on how she has been walking and living and standing in the word of God with the Ephesians. Yes, Ephesians chapter six. Let's turn there if you will. Let's look at verse 12. And the word of God reads, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So let's listen now as we can glean from Evangelist Hayes with her testimonial on Let's Talk About It. Today I was going to focus on just my testimony, you know, just okay. how I got here today. Okay. You know, 34 years ago, I was not, mm -hmm. you know, as focused as I am today. Okay. And um, I, I, I grew up in a Christian home. I grew up uh, with a two-parent mm -hmm. home, and uh, it was a middle-class home, too, so, okay. you know, it wasn't a lot of, you know, struggle or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up with what they call a blended, splendid family. All right, blended, so, splendid. Mm, that has because a uh, I had older brothers and sisters okay. from uh, my dad's previous marriage, mm -hmm. and then he met my mom, and then she raised his children, and then they had 
four children together. Okay. And so, um, you know, so it was, it, it, it had its challenges, but for the most, we did well, you know, okay. especially as African Americans. And they both, uh, my parents were uh, entrepreneurs in our city. Mm. And uh, my mother, um, you know, eventually she um, was uh, one of the leaders and one of the leading uh, Bible studies in the um, community. Okay. But uh, in spite of all of that, you know, um, I ended up on drugs. Mm. I ended up on a life. Uh, I was um, I was on drugs, mm -hmm. and I found myself bound up and could not get myself free mm. until the Lord came and saved me. Praise God! And I thank God for uh, being raised up in the kind of situation I was. You know how we went. We went. To school we went uh, to everything. Okay. You know, we didn't just do church on Sunday. All right. We did church on Sunday. We did, you know. Monday. Monday. Did we Tuesday. Had, uh, what, what? Uh, uh, we sung in the choir. Okay. I was the usher board. And, All right. You know, busy. You were busy. Yeah, youth yeah. fellowship, you know. And so, yes. And that's another thing. Um, I was also trained to be a leader in the church. Praise Not just, you know, someone just go to church and come back, but mm -hmm. a leader. Mm -hmm. And so I thank God for those opportunities. But um, um, my mother, you know, she uh, was very strict about the word of God. Okay. And so, you know, so where uh, we were raised up. You know, well, we had to get up on Sunday board. Same and here. Mm -hmm. And we had to quote scriptures. <laughs> 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 and, uh, was your favorite one, Jesus? Every, was? Everybody was, uh, <laughs> but I, I, I couldn't get that one because okay. it was a lot of us. So by All the right. time it got to me, <laughs> yeah, somebody had already got uh -oh. the Jesus <laughs> rip. So you had to say, uh, 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 the Lord is my shepherd. <laughs> So you I know we had, yeah, yeah, so we had, we had to find you know and then and and, and I, I, like I said I thank God mm -hmm. and so uh, you know um, I, again I, you know I ended up on drugs and so uh, she would always uh, one day she came I was high too mm -hmm. she had came to, <laughs> she, she came to me uh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> and she told me come here let me uh, uh, let me talk to you about something okay and she uh, laid the word out for mm -hmm. me you know and how to receive mm -hmm. salvation amen she said just in case she said are you saved you mm -hmm. know she confronted me because I don't think we do that enough because uh, we send our kids to church or we take them to church but we don't actually walk the word mm -hmm. and to teach them how to make Christ their personal savior and yes. Lord. Amen. And so she laid that scripture out and you know confess, confess with your mouth, mouth and believe in your heart. heart you know, that you shall be saved. Amen. So I thank God for that. Because when God. I got to the place, mm -hmm. which I ended up in Atlanta with one of her brothers, he had a drug ministry. Okay. And so um, I, I remember falling on my knees because I remember my life flashing in front of mm. me. And um, I, I got on my knees and uh, the Lord brought that uh, brought that conversation mm, back up to God. me, mm -hmm. and um, I, I I I I was I um, I was crying, and the Lord came in the room. Mm -hmm. He came in the room. I had a supernatural experience. Mm. He came in the room and he hugged me mm. and he held me and he told me. And when he touched me. Jesus. I was instantly delivered. Praise God! And um, he told me that I would never have to worry about, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that situation again. Praise I will never God. worry about that addiction, and I have not. Praise God! And I thank God for thirty-four years Amen. being, you know, clean. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like a lot of people are struggling nowadays mm -hmm. with, you know, opiate use and, mm -hmm. you know, alcoholism or anything, yes. you know. But God is a deliverer. Amen. You know, yes, he is. God, God is a God of deliverance. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God, you know, for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then he sent me, he said, okay, then he, he inundated me in the word. Mm -hmm. And I actually, well, God led me to my uncle them church. Okay. And so um, they, though, that church was uh, a church who believed in the gifts of the spirit. And so, you know, I was you raised in right. the gifts uh -huh. of the spirit, yes. Yep. And so mm -hmm. um I um 
But um, when I got ready to come back to, because I thought maybe I was just going to live in Atlanta. Okay. But the Lord was like, no, I want to send you back okay. home. Okay. So after a year, he led me back home. And when he led me back home, he gave me Ephesians 6 chapter that said, mm. talking about put on the full arm of the yes. Lord. Because I had to uh, go back for God's glory mm -hmm. uh, and power to be revealed in my life. Okay. Now, I would suggest people to do this on their own. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, like some of the same places that I smoke drugs in and mm -hmm. did drugs, you know, communities, even all the way to... One time I was a home. I'm a I'm a home. I was a home visitor. That okay. Was one of uh, I was a social worker. Okay. You know, All and right. uh, I went to do a home visit, mm -hmm. and it was the same apartment that I had been using drugs mm. in. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And so God had to mm. show me that I can keep you. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I had to walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I had to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, have the full armor on. Mm -hmm. The word and, had become um, alive. In right, you. right. You, did, you didn't just read the word. No. It, the word became no, alive. No. In and you, then in even with mouth. that, yeah. even with that, I had to walk in walk the word. It. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It wasn't just enough to, uh, to, to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't enough just to quote it, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever, or to talk about it in church. Mm -hmm. You know, he put me in a situation where his glory would be revealed in my life. Okay. Did you and find it, was that kind of hard to do at first? No, initially? actually, actually, it was kind of, it, it, and to be honest with you, I, I can remember it working in dreams. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I had a dream one time mm -hmm. that I was walking in the community, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to like to uh, go and use drugs in the projects. Okay. And um, I but when I walked past the project, I remember there was this magnetic pull that was trying mm -hmm. to pull me into that situation, and I called on the name of the Jesus, Lord, Lord, and it just broke, and I was <laughs> able to walk past that place mm -hmm. and go home. Mm -hmm. I was because I was Praise trying to God. walk home. Mm -hmm. So you know, even in that, you know how God would just show you know His power and His might in mm -hmm. my life, mm -hmm. as that scripture talks about. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Amen. you know it talk about standing. You know, right, right. It does. It, it talks about standing in the power of His might. Right. It talks about you know putting on the uh, helmet of salvation. Yeah. It talks about you know. Uh, shotting your feet in the preparation of the gospel so you cannot do certain things and you don't have yourself prepared in the uh in the gospel amen you know what i'm saying amen. because i mm -hmm. found out too mm -hmm. that um uh i um i would devour bibles mm -hmm. i mean just eat them i just eat them morning noon and night. i could not get enough it's like the same craving i crave yes. for the drugs yeah that's what uh uh that's how i would do with the word okay you know to the right. pages fall right out. okay <laughs> you know ephesians 6 that's awesome ephesians uh -huh. 6 i'm there now you're ready yes. mm -hmm. okay and it says ephesians 6 and verse 10 it says finally my brethren be strong in the lord mm -hmm. and in the power, power of, of his, his might, might. Cause That's you talked about you talked about how you know was it difficult? Well, no, because I wasn't going in my might. Going in I his was might. going on his uh, might. All right, uh, now uh, that's uh, it. That's what it says. Yeah. His might mm -hmm. says, put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor, not part of. Put it. on the whole armor. Put on the whole. The whole armor. armor of God that you may be able to stand yes. against the wiles of, of the, the devil. devil. And see, you can't stand mm -hmm. in your own self. Mm -hmm. You have to stand in the Lord. Amen. You know, and the power of his, his might. might. Mm. Amen. Amen. So it says here in verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, blood. Mm -hmm. but against principalities, mm -hmm. against powers, mm -hmm. against the rulers of darkness of this age. Right. And see, that's the thing. You thinking you wrestling with um you know, like uh, flesh and blood. Yes. But it is a spiritual, spiritual battle. battle. You know, and everything mm -hmm. that you do, you're uh, and you have to counteract it because it's a spiritual, spiritual battle. So you need spiritual things, and I think that's 
one of the problems that we have today mm -hmm. in today's society. Mm -hmm. People are not prepared mm -hmm. spiritually. spiritually. You know, we right. have we have uh, intelligence. You know, we got degrees and mm -hmm. all this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know, like these young people, they they uh, uh, are old people too. They say, well, uh, they don't want to uh, be a part of the church. They mm -hmm. don't want to. Um, come and fellowship and study the word because mm -hmm. the scripture talk about not enduring mm -hmm. you know sound doctrine mm -hmm. and so but you cannot fight a spiritual battle in your flesh amen you know and what amen. i mean by your flesh mm -hmm. what you think what you what you believe what you feel mm -hmm. you know it has to be you know through the word, through of, the god, word of god through the spirit of god amen and the only mm -hmm. way to know that it's to get in the word. You gotta be in Not the word. Not even get in the word, but yeah. study in the word. You it's time to say. You gotta walk so we in. We must study to show ourselves mm -hmm. approved unto God. You have to speak to yes the, to the old spirit. That's right. You Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it says here too that. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We just talked about that. But against principalities, against powers, and the rule of, rulers of darkness of this age, mm -hmm. against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Therefore, take up the whole arm of God mm -hmm. that you may be able to withstand stand. in the evil day. That's right. And having done all to, to stand, stand. 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 Because that's what people don't have. A stand. A stand. You know, mm -hmm. you, you got, he says, having all Paul says having done all to stand, mm -hmm. stand stand and I believe some of the struggle is people don't have a stance, a stance. Mm -hmm. they don't have they're, they're not rooted and grounded mm -hmm. in things mm -hmm. the things of God amen you know amen. and that's that's one of the uh, mm -hmm. once you realize that you've done all you can you mm -hmm. just gotta stand you got to stand amen you got to stand there for what you're standing there for hey amen and word god mm -hmm. says in verse 14 stand there for having girded your waist mm -hmm. with truth yes mm -hmm. that's another thing it's the truth because we don't want to <laughs> operate in truth yes you know it's been said that we to that own self be, be truth. truth you know you cannot and the holy spirit mm -hmm. He'll lead you into the truth. All truth. Because you, that's right, all mm -hmm. truth. Because if you don't allow God to lead you into the truth, you'll keep walking in deception. Mm -hmm. You know, that's and right. uh, you're thinking you're all right. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. Or oh, it don't take mm -hmm. all that. All that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But right. you take that and, and more. more. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. And that's another thing breastfeed so that means mm -hmm. you're going to confront some things head on mm -hmm. you know you ain't going to be mm -hmm. running mm -hmm. you're going to be walking and mm -hmm. it's going to be head on you're going to have to face mm -hmm. it and so that's another thing mm -hmm. it's called a breastfeed mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you've got to guard our heart and yeah, our emotions but it's, but it's also for, for, fight, the, for, for the fighting fight. yeah for the fight for you got to guard it yeah Keep that armor yeah, up. Yeah, you can't, on the whole you can't be, you can't, you, you can't be arguing in fear. Yeah, <laughs> then you're going to be in the fear. Yeah, you got to right. be able to stand. That's right. And you got to be able to put on that breast that's right. spray. And it's not your righteousness, it's his, his righteousness. righteousness. right. And that's another thing. That's too. right, that's mm -hmm. right. Because God said he, he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, right. but of power. And love. And love. And, and a of a sound mind. mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we have that sound mind right. while we walking through. Right. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And have unsawed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's right. Mm. That's right. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts Dark. of the wicked one. So even though there, you're gonna um, face some fiery situations, mm -hmm. some some situations that will cause you to, um, you know, try to doubt God or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. You're going to be challenged, mm -hmm. but it comes. But the scripture has given you already the antidote, Amen. Amen. you know, to be able to quench those fiery mm -hmm. dots. Amen. Those dots uh -huh. hurt too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you have a what it says the scripture. You have a breastplate, mm -hmm. a breastplate mm -hmm. to a uh, righteousness, mm -hmm. and then it talks about the what. It's, uh, We're going uh, to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the, of the spirit. 
Okay. Which is the word of God. And that's what I was going to say. This saw of so the, the spirit. spirit. Yes, mm -hmm. which is the word. Mm -hmm. The word down deep down. It has to get in our belly and our heart. It cuts two-edged sword. It's a two-edged yes. sword. It mm -hmm. cuts. I, I was always told, too, mm -hmm. you know, that this scripture here mm -hmm. is a one of offense, not mm -hmm. defense. Offense. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, a, right. You get breastplate. Yep. And yes, you got your shoes on. And you got your sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. We have the word, mm -hmm. the spirit of truth, the sword of the spirit, which is the word, mm -hmm. the word of God. And that's yes, what man. gets us. It's the word of God. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Standing in the, in mm -hmm. the word, walking in the word. Of and God. Uh, I just want to say this, you know, lately here, I've been mm -hmm. challenged with some health issues. Mm -hmm. That scripture can be used. You know, as well as someone that might be having a health issue. Yes, yes. You know, because, you know, again, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. It's, it's spiritual. a spiritual. You know, That's sickness right. and disease, it's a spirit. Sometimes it's a, it can be a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. it seems like the devil's going to try to, you know, cause you to uh, lose your balance and lose your weight. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, the scripture says... Having done all to stand, you stand, stand. therefore. Stand. Mm -hmm. Keep on standing. Somebody might be having a child who's on drugs. You might not be on drugs. But your child you might be, be challenged. So it might be a financial situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It mm -hmm. might be a financial situation. And you might be saying, Lord, how are we going to make it through all of this? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got my kids. I got my, my marriage. Me and my husband. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my wife. And we're trying to hey, you know, the word will address that mm -hmm, issue. Mm -hmm. You know, you might be having a challenge in your church. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important that we be able to stand. stand. I hear God saying it's time to stand. stand. Take a stand. You know, we got to take stand. a stand. And I, and I that's believe right. that's what times that we're in, we're going to be challenged like mm -hmm. never before. Mm -hmm. You know, and what we have to do is continue to stand there for what we're standing there for. Mm -hmm. I just believe somebody need to know mm -hmm. that it's important that they stand. Yeah. That they, this is a spiritual battle and mm -hmm. we have to stand as believers. Amen of Christ. Amen. You know, you got to stand, Amen. you know. You have to stand. Amen. I know that's what the older folks used to talk about this mm -hmm. all the stuff. Hold your head up. Uh -huh. Hold Stick your head your up. Side. Chest out. Uh -huh. Stand tall and proud. Do it all. And we have the victory. That's right. In Christ that's right. Jesus. We are and, victorious. Know. Not in some things, mm -hmm. but we are victorious in all, all things. things. Yes, yes. In all things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. Amen. So, you know, you continue to stand. Mm -hmm. You continue to stand and believe God and take him on his word. Amen. Because God's word is what's going to change you. God's word is going to keep you. Mm -hmm. God's word is what's going to uh, bring you out. Amen. And bring you through. Amen. Amen. See, you know, uh, Amen. <laughs> and I like the scripture too. It says that God's word is a lamp unto to our feet. And a light, light unto, unto our, our path. path. Mm -hmm. As long as we're standing. Yes. And we're following that light. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everything's alright. And then he'll just lead and guide you right Amen. on into, you Amen. know, victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, praise God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We want to stay with us now some 34 years. Yeah. Is it? Some 34 years and still standing. Yes. Still going strong. Mm -hmm. Well, we thank God. We praise God. Well, what an awesome testimonial coming from my dear beloved. Evangelist Hayes, you know, when we put on the whole armor of God, do you not know, my brothers and my sisters, that we are putting on Jesus? Yes, we are putting on Jesus. Do you know that means the battle has already been won? Yes, we are victorious, my brothers and my sisters, not in some things, but in all things. I'm also reminded toward the scripture Turn now, if you will, to Romans. Yes, Romans chapter 13. And the word of God reads in verse 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. And then Galatians 3, 27. And the word of God there reads, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. 
Yes, we have the most divine protection. Yes, we have the divine protection from Jesus, my brothers and my sisters. So when we put on that armor, when we put on the whole armor of God, as Evangelist has with just sharing her testimony, we'll put it on Jesus. And we are, you are, my brothers and my sisters, victorious. Yes, you are victorious. We are victorious in all things. Amen. Yes. A word of prayer. Most yes. holy God, our Father, our Lord, and our Savior. Holy God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, if there's someone out there who don't know you and the pardon of their sin, Father God, we pray right now that you uncloud their ears so they can hear your voice, hear your word that has already been spoken, Holy Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, thank you. Thank you again. Thank you for joining us. Remember now to subscribe to the channel at J-E-O-P Outreach and share the Bible study inspiration with others. Blessings to all. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.